Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Tribunal. Uh, I've moved my camera back to where it once lay. Uh, and I drank a potion of light, so I'm now emitting stuff. And I found this... thing. Which is allegedly an adamantine helmet, which looks pretty pimpin'. Um... Probably going to... leave the, uh... Probably gonna use the glass armor to keep leveling my light armor. But honestly, I might even like go put it back at home now and then swap it out for Dark Brotherhood gear. Because fuck, it's super light. Like it's almost really annoying to me. But because of the DLC, you can get the second best set of light armor in the game. That early. And granted. You have to survive a Dark Brotherhood fight to get it. What about that escape, huh? Did I escape you? East building of Moral Manor. He's got one too. Everyone has one of these fucking swords. Uh, uh, Come on, free me. Uh, uh, Alright, what does willpower is what helps me with magic? Alright, that's gonna be pretty important coming up. Okay, let me find one of. That's got pretty good charge, so. Okay. So I'm getting the sense that that guy was probably an important guy to, to, to know and fight. God, if I had Mark and Recall, I could just sell some of my shit, come back. Be like, no problem. It's cool. Be very frost resistant. Feeling very toasty right about now. You animal. <laughs> no wonder. Okay. Steel gear. Dire shard arrow. Oop, money. Now, of course, I could just leave the heavy stuff that I picked up, but I want the cash for it. And I'm very, very greedy, you see. It's a character flaw. Oh, wait. Okay, now what else is even down here? This... Okay, I think this is about where I died last time. Big no you move. All right, this thing. Which one of these is? You're empty. So I'm taking yours, and I'm also going to. I want to like finish out the dungeon as best I can. Yeah, also, while I was checking the wiki to make sure that I'm doing this right, in fact, it does specifically mention. Hey, be careful. It's a really, really hard dungeon. Oh, cool. Okay. See, I don't know why I said this, but I literally was like, I want to get through this whole DLC without waiting too long. I'm like, I, I did that because I wanted to see 
like, if it would take me a short amount of time. And I think it's going to regardless, but, like, I also just didn't want to, like, use all my stuff up. But I also just really enjoy the vibe of, like, I fought a 115 long day war against Dega, you know? And, and saved all of Morrowind in like a third of a year, about. But then all the shenanigans that happened in Morhold, that was a that was a crazy weekend. But I have only been here for one day as of right now. I think the last bit of this leg of the quest isn't here though. God damn it. Paralyze and poison. 10 points of poison, yowzers. He was so ready for me, you know? Aha, yeah. uh -huh, how does it feel? Uh, My liege, tell him I failed him. Dandrus Vules. All right, you had a standard thing. A Dark Brotherhood contract, you say? Bearer of this document, under special dispensation of the Night Mother, has entered into a contract of perpetuity with H. He's given special dispensation to execute Delina Pitchblend, a dark elf residing on Vardenfell. In accordance with laws and traditions, the aforementioned personage will be executed in the name of H in the most expedient manner possible. All services of the Dark Brotherhood are at the disposal of the bearer of this binding and non disputable document. Dick? Try to kill me. So where does this lead? Moral Manor Courtyard. Um, I should report my findings to a guard immediately. When dealing with the Dark Brotherhood um, in Skyrim as well, you also like just run straight to the... You also run straight to the nearest guard and you're like, I've just killed a Dark Brotherhood member. Um... What do you say to that? And no matter what guard it is, it's usually one of the guards in the Reach or the Pale, I believe. Um, or near Solitude. Just because the area where you wake up after seeing the Dark Brotherhood for the first time is kind of between those. It's near Morthal, but anyway. But you can actually go to any guard in the, in the entire game world and say, I just killed a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Um... What should I do next? And they'll be like, shit, go find this guy. He'll tell you what to do. And he does. Um, reception. Oh, so this is the Temple of Almalexia. It's bougie as shit. I mean, it's kind of hard to top Vivek when the motherfucker has a whole city named after him. And like, what if Morthold is probably bigger than Vivek. And another thing about Vivek is that a lot of the city's square footage is taken up by rivers. But then again, it's also like really? stacked on top Say of itself. Say your piece, Charles, and be done. Religious sword speaks to me. I'm looking for a shop, my man. Can you help me? Great bazaar. Here we go. But yeah, I think the guards might just be briefed on who the fuck the Dark Motherhood is. Just because. Because, like, Morwen has their own assassination guild called the Morag Kong. Um, and the Morag Tong are completely legal. Uh, you gotta go through the correct channels to access and use the Morag Tong. But they're totally legal. What's your story? And so the Dark Brotherhood are like these weirdo, like, religious fanatics. <laughs> Uh, give me one of these then, huh? That's two, in fact. All the Daedric shit I have is just, that's my piggy bank, you know? Okay. How 
right. I can't imagine. Let me see who else is in here. Uh, like, I might say that it's more trouble than it's worth, but it's worth 500 gold for one unit of weight. So, like, it's worth a lot. That six gold was what was taken on my inventory. Yippery skippery. Oh, I still got his coin. Um, what else do I want? A lot of these. You are scamming me, man. All right, fuck you. I'll thank you to be brief. The sky is popping off. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was also sure to, um... Blessings upon your house, sir. I did already buy from you, but... I'm just getting scammed in this place. Need any of these things? Probably won't, though. Ring a ding ding. Thank you. Okay, next I need a guard. I could have sold someone away for the cops to show. Yo, Emma. Greetings, first citizens of Mournhold. I'm the great, renowned, respected, and feared wizard, Ovis Velas. In the coming weeks, you'll see more and more of me as I bring the city to its knees. For the moment, let me demonstrate my power on your hapless countrymen. You there, you ugly dark elf, prepare to feel my wrath. Um, fuck you. Uh, Ovis Velas magically appeared before me. I announced he was going to put on the display of his power and attack me. Oddly enough, he went down far too easily and scarcely harmed me. I wonder what this could mean. Yeah, I was gonna say. Interesting. Is there like a gambit going on? All right, I'm listening. I'm gonna need some more health potions. I'm thinking so. You grab some of these, huh? You ain't got much in the way of it, though, huh? Little unfortunate. Cure paralysis. That might be useful, considering what I'm putting up with. Now, I'll just be sure to keep that in my inventory and never, ever use it. Oh, you buy uh, Telvani Bug Musk, do you? Uh, how about that? It's a coupon. And then we buy these. Wow, you've got a lot of money. That's pretty sweet. Actually, I want the Fortify Speed. Sure, blight. Whatever. And then the restores, I don't think I'll really need. Pick that one. I'll keep the rest of me. Sweet. Smoke and deal. Oh, spells. Cool. Um, Feet of Natorgo. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Spell drinker. Summon for tomorrow. Vex Mercy, huh? 
Yes, what is it? Well, it seems all almost to be at uh, do, 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 do. Will you become their leader? Maybe, maybe not. Speak with Fedris Hler about this. Chief Steward of Almalexia, you may find him in the temple reception area. Uh, thank you. Justice never sleeps. What are the, this is it. I'll be taking my skooma and leaving. Any chance I can sleep in here? <laughs> I can. Noise. Can you ask your question quickly? I must be. Well, gone. what is. Alright. The temple, you say. Sounds like I should just. Oh. Granny yes. Vares. <laughs> Temple's as clean as Almalexi's consciousness and keep it that way. Fedris Fleur. You're the one who's arrived recently in Mournhold from Vardenfell. Uh, I was told of your arrival. I've told you had some problems with the Dark Brotherhood. Interesting group and usually rather effective. I'm surprised you're still alive. Perhaps you have potential or they sent incompetence. You might be of service to our lady. I am always aware of those who might be able to serve our lady Almalexi if you are worthy to do so. The temple and the city is guarded by the high ordinators, and the hands fulfill other duties for the lady. Oh, so like how um, Vivek has uh, the buoyant armagers and the ordinators. She has high ordinators and the hands. Okay, cool. I'm the chief steward, Fedges Hler. If you wish to be of use, matters to discuss. Perhaps you have heard, uh, you've met King Hlalu Helseth, a foul man unworthy to sit on a throne, but he holds right of succession. The lady must keep a watchful eye on the king, lest he do something detrimental to the temple, our city, or perhaps Old Morwood. Currently, there's some concerns about new recruits. Helseth is training. Our young new king. He's ruthless and not foolish, as some would have you believe. He has some of his mother's political savvy, and he has all of his father's ruthlessness. A standing army is nothing new in the city, though it's largely unnecessary. Mornhold is protected by her walls from the outside, and Lady Omalexi from within. Yeah, her power? That's going away, though, dude. I just blew up the heart. None would ever mount an attack here. Tradition dictates the king maintain an army. We believe Helseth is raising a different sort of army, a goblin army. Foul, vicious creatures. No wonder Helseth has chosen him to be his foot soldiers. I know that goblins are being trained nearby, though not where. Ask the city about goblins. Someone will know. I wish for you to find the location of a goblin training area. What do you do? Kill the war chiefs. There should be two. Sever the head of the army, and the rest will shatter like a scrib. You might want to rid the city of the two Ultimar trainers. Complete this task and they will be pleased. The Ultimar have used the goblins to reinforce their armies. Why? I don't know. Helseth is... Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, huh. Considers the goblins abomination. Horrified Helseth. Alright. Almalexia knows and sees. Goblins. Little vermin. I'd love to get my hands on some of those scrawny little necks. People have been making a stink about seeing some of the city recently, especially in God's Reach. Did I spill something on my chin? Oh, it's coffee, of course. Uh, it is just a bit after the last episode, so I still have my uh, now empty coffee cups here. See. I've got two coffee cups on my table now, and I kind of want to start a collection of just having just a shitload of coffee cups. Oh, and it just... Yeah. I guess that makes sense. You know what? That's probably to stop people from seeing Omalexi too early. Because with Vivek, you can actually pick that lock or find uh, one of the, like, lock ripper skills or kill some guys, find the keys. Uh, I didn't ask the other guy. Can you tell me where... Justice never sleeps. Oh, the, the way that his shoulder pulled was like in front of his face made it look like he's wearing Uh, I'm not sure they're goblins, but they're rulers. If they were trainers, it would be close to the goblins. 
Where's God's Reach? West side of the city. More manors owned by wealthy citizens. And the craftsman hall. They even make them to order if you have the materials. The Wingward Tavern as well, not a place for a drink or a place to stay for the night. And the Museum of Artifacts. Oh, um, someone told me I need to give artifacts to the guy. The women. Give a few words and help. I'd be happy. A lot of people looking for women in this place. Oh, it just goes straight to here. Okay, I'm going to. What am I going to do? I'm going to run home. Like, to Vernfell. I'm going to go to Belmora. And I'm going to. Actually, I have no idea how to get that home. Um. I guess I'll go to God's Reach now, and then I'll go and get the artifacts, whatever. Because um, I learned that I actually have a whole bunch of the things that help as artifacts. Or no, it's through here, right? Oh! Interesting. Use of the nine. I suppose that'll be like the first, one of the first proper, like, companions ever. Justice. Good to see you again, friend. I was just doing a little writing. I don't know who you are. The son of Baron Zaya. She's alive? <clears throat> wow. Am I gonna meet Baron Zaya? Like, it's a name that I've heard so much of because of, um, yeah, it's you. Back in crappy old land. Um, because I've seen the name Baron Zaya so much, and I know she's like a historical figure and like a queen of Morrowind. I guess it just didn't occur to me that she would be alive in this era. Because like, she is in she's a historical figure in Skyrim, but that's two hundred years after this. So I guess she would be like, I can still say it, right. Damn it. One moment. Oh yeah, so while I'm in town, uh, I came to check on my fortress. What about the stronghold? Tell Galsa Gindu things are fine here. The work will be done soon. Pleasant weather, don't you think? <laughs> sure is, buddy. Wonderful. Wonderful. I like this. I love building, like... I think I prefer building like strongholds and stuff to building a house like it's cool to have employees and it's like I'm the guy who makes armor you know that's radical in fact. well met friend I can figure it out I'm a big I'm a big man I'm a big strong man. I can probably figure out where this NPC is in this 19 year old. Did my eyes just blur or was that the game? That reminds me, I really gotta find someone who can train my marksman. Cause like, it's the lowest of my tag skills. Followed immediately by spear. Here we go, mouse again too. Get your strongholds progressing well, the work should be finished soon. It's so. Cause like, shit, if I could find someone who could hook me up with, like, marksman or spear, like, I could buy so many levels on the cheap. And then, like, I would just have levels. What an unexpected surprise. I really love how quaint and pleasant the guards get. Cause like, normally they're right cunts, but like, it's pleasant. I like it. All right. So we are heading back to. Do I still have anything in my pockets? I do. Is there something you need? Three blessings to your happiness. This is a pleasure. 
We're just gonna leave this on the floor. You. How can I help you? I'm giving you a gift of a pot? I can actually get back on my own. Don't mind me. All right, we should be good. So, I've mentioned this in the in the past a few times, but I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it always loads me back to that like default character that just in um back in uh, the big floaty thing. Nine good days to you, sir. City of light. City of magic. Anyway. Oh, there's a little bear on it. That's, or a wolf, even. That's fine. Okay. Ken's... Now you're going to get it. <laughs> Look who it is, my dear friend Galena Pitchblend. It's my leg, you just stumbling here. Indeed, it seems my good fortune knows no bounds. Despite my mistreatment in your hand, I found riches and have been able to influence anyone I talk to. And can you believe I've never lost a fight, never even gotten a scratch? Somehow I don't think I'll have a problem continuing that streak, and I owe you. Now you're going to get it. I think you're overestimating your chances. Considering only one of us is the messiah. Though I will say, I admire your... Your hustle for getting a full set of ebony armor. I don't even think I have one of those. Gotcha. Wow. He's not fucking around. He's in fact wholly and completely for real. Back in. He's like so much shorter than me. Unfair advantage, honestly. Like, I did talk shit on him, but, like, he can kind of back it up, to be honest. I will say, he is kind of untouchable, though. Hmm. The Everyone's talking about the ladies here. Can... If a few words. How about you? Help, um, I'd be happy to talk. I'm looking for the museum. God's Reach, West Side, right? There is someone watching. All right, maybe it's time. You know. Shield, restore health, restore fatigue. There we go. I hit him. If you don't mind, good sir, I'm going to use my attributes and abilities as well. Only one of us is the Messiah, if you recall. I suppose if he is, there's very little that I can do about it, considering, uh... He appears now to be you're going to get it. 
He's like, yeah, he did not poison me until, or paralyze me, until I took out my paralyzed sword. Real goodies on you, huh? Uh, I killed Gaynor. Abney Longsword, Gaynor's amulet. He's lucky. That's what it is. He was pure lucky. What a dick. Alright, God's Reach. Show respect, sir. I'll uh, work on selling off his armor as I go. Oh, actually, I'll okay. I'll, I'll come in here later. First, I should find that museum or whatever that you can donate shit to. Museum of artifacts. Museum is privately funded in an effort to ever collect and display artifacts from part of the world. Should you want to sell something and feel the museum is interested, bring the item in, we can assess the value. Theft is a serious matter and likely to equal a death warrant for any foolish enough to attempt it. Uh, purchasing unique artifacts from Oliver Morrowind. Up to 30,000 gold. We have limited budget, though. Dragon Ball Quiras. The definition of an artifact, they don't make them like this anymore. I will keep it for now. Um, Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Oh, Adelon's Ward is on there, too. Um, can I... Never seen a sword like this. Where'd you get it from? Huh. Alright. Let me just double check to make sure that that's what I need to do. You have to donate and not sell, says the wiki. Okay, load it. Whatever. In you that want. case, within reason. Theoretically speaking, they should stay here. Now, granted, I do have other things that could be used, but I can at least drop some stuff there. Seven virtues. Um, now, that freed up some space, so let's scamper over here. There you are. Gainor. It's probably Gainor. Ooh, that's heavy. Uh, let's get the shield. That's a good looking longsword, I will say. I have a lion's share of longswords to begin with. Fendus. I thought it said Thetis. I would have lost my mind. Thetis is the Dragon Age setting, literally, and also the name of it. Alrighty. Here to make weapons, not to chat. Must make custom armor. This is so I'm the one custom armor. I make ebony and glass armor, but my specialty. Oh. Let's see what you got here. Craftsman's hammer, adamantium mace, silver darts, imperial chain cuirass. A lot of good shit in here. However, today I'm trying to sell. There's all You're your money. You're imagining things. Noriel Faustus. You speaking to me, Dark Elf? Suppose you want some armor or steel or something or other? Take your sniffling looks in your ungrateful tone and directly to Smith. I'm an apprentice. I've got nothing to offer to the likes of you. I don't belong here. It's starting too good for this place. Slaving over a hot forge is a job best left to the plebs. Look at old Bulls over there with his torn, sweat and saliva stained shirt. His head like a giant corpus infected melon. That faltering gait of his like a gore with venereal warts. Jesus. It's a wonder he remembered to put on his pants this morning. Now compare with me. Let's look at me in the picture of perfection. Look at these nails. 
You know, I must have to pay those filthy Hualu manicures for these. My flawless complexion, the ideal proportions of my body. Do you think the gods created such an image of majesty for the purpose of blacksmithing? Certainly not, my naive friend. I'm destined to become an adventurer. Do you mock me? I aspire to heights greater than you ever dreamed of. Do you think monsters and evil men will stand any chance when they behold this majestic specimen of humanity striding towards them? They will coil and faint at the sight of me. I will wave their corpses aside with a swipe of my hand. My greatness is inevitable. In fact, I believe I will start my adventuring just today. Mark my words, next time you come around, you won't find me here. I like how he doesn't care. Ah! Right. Must you? This is so. This oh. is getting left on the floor. Because I don't have enough uh, room to uh, keep out, says this door. Clutter. My shelves full of more ones clutter are impressive. They're not definitive. I'm looking to recruit a brave and stalwart adventurer to become my champion of clutter. Venturing into the items to complete my collections. Are you interested? I will be. I will reward you well. I require items for my imperial collection. A bolt of imperial rat hair fabric. Recognizable by the burgundy color and diamond pattern. And a brushed silver pitcher. Do you need What the something? hell? You are one odd fellow, but I won't fuck with you. If you're gonna pay me, whatever. I didn't expect to see the Reverend here. Holy fire. Foe burner. Jesus. It's a two handed sword. Ah, well. Last wish. That thing sounds so cool. This is definitely one of those things where it's like, this is. This is DLC, you know? You can blight people. But you know what I mean? Like, these are all, like, such items of extreme quality that, like, this couldn't be anything but DLC. Gem feeder, fifth barrier. Seems a good price. Thank you, come again. Well, thank you. You shouldn't be here. Why? I mean, I know I don't live here, but like, come on. Um, what exactly was I doing here? <laughs> All right, strongholds done in a week. That was before I came here. Sewers of God's Reach. Great. All right, so I'm heading here. Hello. I don't Tim's know come if by I flower. can help I love when flowers are named by I'll like try. that. My grandmother is actually named after such a flower. Uh, the Rose of Sharon in question. One of my favorite flowers. I forget what it's like exactly called, but I think it's called something like Baldur's Brow or something. Which is just so wonderful. These shoulder pads they are ridiculous. Do not want company. Go away. Oh, you're a named guy. Salas Valor. Uh, sewers beneath. Okay, so I'm in the right place by the sounds of it. I just need to find a thing into the sewer. Gotta say, wouldn't think that pink would w rock for armor, and yet. Kinda does. I love how it still kinda has the skirt of the ordinators. Maybe it's over here. Cause uh the sewers in the main plaza were at the end of a little thing like this as well. Oh yeah, there it is. 
Can't talk to our dark elf. I'm waiting I for suppose someone. I could spare a moment. Oh, are all these women who are like waiting for somebody, and all of the men who are like women? I'm looking for one. Are, are, am I supposed to mess them up? Okay. That's a good DLC. I would like Common Tongue. Uh, news that are on cheap paper, sensational events in Mornhold. One article describes a list of individuals who died under suspicious circumstances when their interests conflicted with those of a former prince of the West. The reference is clearly King Helseth, King of Morwen, formerly Prince Helseth, King of Wayrest, Province Hyra. Huh. Oh, the common tongue. It's the name of the, uh... Meant to sell this, didn't I? Gotta get hammered. I'm trying to avoid using, uh... The, any short blades to fight. Wow, you guys do damage, though. Very strange method of walking. What is this short blade? They like kind of hop. And luckily, they've got some Telvanni bugs and some moon sugar. Great, that will bite me in the ass for having it in my pocket like it has every other time. What if all the guys here were just like super chill with it? They were like, you got drugs? Can I have some? I saw a TLDR of uh, stuff in Morrowind. Welcome to my world, where we do things my way. I feel like I should... I, I must be going to so all the talking. Make it quick. Okay, Dilborn, probably a Nord. You just want to talk to the boss, Drathus. This is Drathus. Drathus Neris. Welcome to my world, where we do things my way. Okay, then you get a bounty. Can you ask your question quickly? <laughs> the nerve of that guy. Ah, oh, you got the paralyzer. Oh. Go free. Your fucking life ends 40 seconds from now. Come on. Get class boots on. <laughs> Are they? Did you not want to help me or? Dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? <clears throat> Steel Jink Blade of the Aegis. Amulet of Health. Glass stuff. And a Netch Leather Queer Ass. Silver Spark Axe. Ah, hello. Uh, did you want something? Thank you, Dark Elf. I'm in your debt. Alas, in my present financially embarrassed condition, it's a debt I can't repay. Under the circumstances, your own virtue may be sufficient. Uh, he said he was financially embarrassed and had no reward. What a funny thing to say. Financially embarrassed. Okay, this... Because I, I, I found that guy earlier. I can't remember if it was on camera or not. I 
And then these like goblin dogs, yeah, Durzog. What's this thing damage again? 44 on the chop. Wowzers. And I assume that's the chop and this is the slash. Okay. Sorry, I know everyone Everyone definitely comes to these to see me goof off on camera. This is an area I've already been to. What the heck? Goblin Army is the And the sewers. One moment. Alright. Cool. I'm in the palace sewers. Palace sewers. That's the button I wanted. Put on my mouth. So I'm looking for goblins. And I guess there ain't no goblins this way. In the in the interest of brevity, I looked up a guide and it says that I should go to the west sewers next, which are here. Yeah, they are. So that's where I'm headed. I've been here for two days. Um, I think I mentioned this in the first episode, but for anyone who missed it, go back and watch it. For real though, for anyone who missed it, I talked about how funny it would be if I went through the entire DLC in like a weekend. And like, just imagine the vibe of like... Oh, no wonder I didn't go through here. Why would I go up in the sewers? This is a new area, though, so... Wow, that damage is for real. War Durzog. Goblin Handler. Oh! He wasn't a fighter. Nice. Wow, big money, huh? Well, that's interesting. It's a crate that's been opened, so you can't open it because it doesn't have an inventory. That damage, though. <laughs> For the gob. Heavy armor. These things are heavy, of course. Wow, there's a lot of guys. Are they trying to flank me, or are they just getting lost? How much does this do? Wow, it's really weak, actually. <laughs> way weaker than it should be. Like, compared to the Daedric Axe, which is doing, like, on the higher tiers, like, 20s and 40s of damage, this doesn't break... Only the chop breaks 10. It's pretty weak. And, like, even though I'm using it just to help level my stuff... 
Like, it's not great. Like, I would have an easier time leveling my stuff if I had a club that did more damage. I guess I'll sell this and look for one. Maybe... Maybe Ebony isn't heavy enough to be a good club. There's this one really cool mechanic in... I'm gonna come back here later. Pardon me. There's this cool mechanic that I really like in um, Dwarf Fortress where you can find adamantine, right? And it's... It is like mithril, as it is described in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, where it's super light. Wow, that is huge damage. And brittle. I guess that makes sense, though. Maybe it is going to take it. Does it weigh more than a... It's 20 units. This is 12 units. But the damage is great. Very interesting. You don't hear about goblins a lot. Let's do a long sword. Um, yeah, you don't hear about goblins a lot in the Elder Scrolls. What was I just talking about? Shit. Over here. Marveling. Dwarf Fortress, right. Uh, you can find Adamantine or Adamantium. Okay, that's probably the next place, huh? Old Mournhold Battlefield. Um, and as described, it is super sharp and super shiny and super light. So you'd think it would make good weapons. Well, you'd actually be awfully wrong. It makes terrible hammers. Because what you're supposed to do with it... I'll grab that. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Oh, you're just a house lolly guy down here. Take a nap if that's all I need. This is the end for you, thief. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything bad happens to me. Uh, though I'm just going to air this out right now. If it does, I'm probably going to fix it with console commands because how could I have known? Like, I was all ready to attack that guy to begin with. Ah, what the hell. Head on. A little cleaner that way, huh? All right, and into the battlefield. Anyway, getting off topic here. Um, so, adamantium slash adamantium makes absolutely miserable warhammers because it's about as dense and heavy as cotton candy. I know that that's too many fours, but. You can have um, a Warhammer made of it, but because it's so light and magical, it's really useless. Because a Warhammer needs to be heavy. And in the same way, you can have a big, heavy, like, super thing. But if it doesn't, like, have... If it's not hard and can't hold a blade, or can't hold an edge, it makes a terrible blade. 
it's a cool mechanic. Um, and I guess that might be why my Daedra Club isn't doing shit. <laughs> Hold on, no, let me let me look at this funny corpse. Look at this fucking thing. It's fucking. <laughs> Rock fell on him. <laughs> what? <laughs> a big old rock just fell on the guy. And here as well. Did rock spawn all these people, or did they just happen to die underneath a rock? Wow, that looks cool. We get it, guys. It's DLC. Moon sugar? Oh, it's a pile of small skulls. Turn my sprint off so I can poke a little easier without like running away from the guy. Because what I want is to be able to get my poke. On. Single gold piece. This is cool. Like. Vivek is still, like, the rich part of Morrowind, or of Vardenfell. But, like, it is still very clearly a part of Vardenfell. And here, like, this isn't even a... This isn't even on the same island, you know? So it's pretty cool to see it. There we go. I have to find the key in between third person and and slow walk because I usually just have auto sprint turned on all right looks like we've finished this place out so on to the next part or I could do it next time uh so I think I'll do that yeah I'm an Alfred everyone this has been tribunal uh it's really cool uh it it feels different it doesn't feel like Morwen. like I'm playing Morwen, but like it's an expansion. It's really neat. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all later. Um, have a good day. Have an Alfred. Uh, see you next time.